is uh, Noel Dola. Uh, he's a slightly mem younger member of the group, as far as I can tell. Yes, with K, he's the younger member. Of the group. Younger member, yeah. And um, this piece is um, a very important uh, example of his work at, at, with supports of boss. It's called Tartelin. And it's basically a large or wide roll of gauze material. And uh, he created this piece by dipping a rolled up roll of the material into a bucket of thinned out paint. And then, and as you can see, the, the kind of the shape of the mark is also um, uh, him splashing or squirting on dye or ink. And it kind of rolls down the, the side of the, the canvas. And then he lets it dry outside and then unrolls it and that's the piece. So it's this very process-based uh, piece of artwork where he's basically setting in motion a series of activities um, and then once the activities are done that is the end of the the, the artwork is basically finished. So it's a very hands-off um, kind of automatic process-based um, piece of art maybe like Saul Witt or uh, American artists like that who are very into process oriented uh, exactly. art making. And he, and he has to accept it uh, at the end. And that's an important point of support surface is if you are uh, neutral and systematic in the way you are creating an artwork, then you have to accept it because there is nothing to judge as you were um, mm -hmm. systematic. I find it very interesting that here's this person who is um, maybe very virulently against the idea of illusionism inside a painting, but through the process of making, he ends up in a place that, that evokes, for me at least, the idea of space and color and light and air and atmosphere. So I think it's very interesting to um, approach that through process, opposed to maybe like going for an effect. And I think that, that in some ways, for me, crystallizes of why this movement is interesting or different than minimalism in that in some ways they were not against painting and what painting could do as an object. And the way you use Tarlatan is gaze. Uh, yeah. Gaze is very, very little greed. And uh, for him it's a, it's a way to, to talk about the stretcher too because it's a very, very little it's stretcher. A tight grid, yeah. And the way that it's on the floor is to, to, to talk about the, stre the, the soft the soft grid. And you often uh, find this idea as well in super surface as uh, they don't have to, as they don't kind of don't care about uh, the final aesthetic of the, work, of the work, as it's really a work in its uh, true meaning, like uh, uh, testing something, uh, try to invent something, then uh, the final uh, uh, size of the work uh, doesn't really uh, matter to them. So, for example, it's up to uh, the ones that are going to uh, hang it on the wall to choose how big it is. How big it is.